and we're back hello ginger empire we are going to go over how to use the excavator i see a lot of questions and i see a lot of comments especially saying do you use a joystick to use a controller no i don't i've just gotten used to the controls of the excavator themselves both sizes so to start out i like to be in the view that shows the shovel which is different from this view so it's the third view right here because you can change angle then you have up and down with W and S, of course, side to side with A and D. Right click closes the clapper, left click opens the clapper, that's important. So we're going to start out, we're going to take a bite into new ground here, so we're going to come down. And at this point in time, I like to press F, right about here, because F takes down the topsoil. Then I press the E button by accident. Then I like to press G right after F to close up the bucket. We swing the bucket around and dump it into the wash plant. And I found it easier to take the ground down layer by layer, slowly but surely. And F controls the small arm, and G controls the bucket. And then when we go to dump it, you then have to press R to straighten the bucket back out. And then press T to swing the arm. And while you press T, I also press left click to open the clapper back up. Or whatever that's called this this part I like doing this for a couple of reasons uh, having control over this allows you to not let the dirt fall out so easily and um, within the excavator manual it shows Y and H but left click right click also do work so don't mess with Y and H you're gonna drive yourself nuts and that's the biggest thing I've seen so we're going to come over here again. We're already down in the dirt, so we're going to press G, just the bucket swing, close it up and swing it back around, and dump it. Now the biggest thing you need to know is you need to let this become a... a the, you need to get, just get used to the controls more than anything. And once you get past the initial frustration of that, you'll get used to swinging it, just like you're driving it yourself. But the biggest ones for me to keep up with are probably G and T. And G is the bucket down and T is the bucket up here. R and F are pretty easy. F brings down the small arm. R raises it. And of course S is down on the whole arm and R is or in a W is up on the whole arm. So more than anything you just gotta get into the swing of things. Like at this point we're in the hole, but we want to scrape forward with F. So that's what we did. Versus trying to just bite a bucket with G, which would not work very well. But that was just a demonstration. And it looks like it's glitching. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. I wonder why it was stuck in there. That's a weird one on me. When you come down with G, if you don't have the dirt to do it, it doesn't work as well. But when you're deep in a hole like that, it's a lot easier. But once you get into a flow, it's pretty simple. And you can fill the uh, mobile wash plant with the small excavator probably about every five minutes. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But as you're swinging left and right, you can press the R button to swing the small arm up and down. Or the F button. And then as soon as you're over it, just hit T. They did a good job binding these keys close to WASD. So I found it pretty easy to catch on to. But the biggest thing is definitely remember to use left click, right click for uh, the little clapper part of the bucket, whatever it's called. And that's probably the biggest thing I see that people do wrong. Other than that, just so we swing it around, come on down, in the hole, press F, and then press G right after that to finish it out and then W back up extend with R come all the way back around now you're over the wash plant you're pressing T and left click to dump then you're pressing D to go back out into the field and again F in the hole initially followed by G swing the whole arm forward and back around T to dump the bucket there we go 
and back out into the hole. And again, you don't always have to press F. I, I can press G right now, and get a good bite, and then bring it forward to get the rest. Sometimes you have to use a combination of both those buttons. Sometimes one or the other works just fine. And again, back over the wash plant, press in T to empty, left click to open. We're going to take a bite right here with G. And that's all we need. Then back up with W. Back over to the, the wash plant with S. And we're dumping again. And so once you get a swing at things, you can pretty much go non-stop. No issue. We're back up and over with S. And there we go. Sun's coming out finally. Dump with T. And so you can see once you really get moving, you can pretty much keep that bucket full if you set your mind to it. So up with G again. We're swinging as we close the bucket all the way back over. And then we're dumping it. And we just filled up the bucket by accident there. So we're coming back in. We're going to press G, or F and then G. Sometimes you will get stuck. That's fine. Just try backing it out one way or the other. Now let's talk about placement. Because we're about to have the wash plant filled up here. So we're going to get out of the vehicle. That's 100%. So we're going to stop. But let's talk placement here for a minute. More than anything, when you set up you need to stretch your excavator arm over to whatever wash plant you're using or over to wherever you're dumping your pile of dirt and make sure it's going to reach how you want it to. So here we have the small excavator set up to dump right into the mobile wash plant. If you don't have this set up here, then you're going to be playing games all day long. So you need to position things correctly before you even begin. Because this is our range right here. We're going to mine from about right here all the way over to the end. This is all within our reach. And when we bring in F right here, we can reach all the way to here. We're going to be digging out all of this. All this is going to go. So you got a lot of pay dirt to move. This is probably five, six hours worth of pay dirt to move right here. And we forgot to change the bucket out. Or did we forgot to turn the machine back on. So more than anything, placement is king when you're using the mobile wash plant. Make sure you place yourself where you can dig for a long time and then it's just a matter of getting scoops of dirt and swinging them back around to the plant and not pressing E all the time. Uh, I've gotten used to not pressing E but if you feel it's going to be easier I suggest rebinding the enter and exit VO key from E, from e to something else because that's going to be a big help for you. But anyway, we're going to wrap it up there. This is Ginger Empire as always. I hope you guys have fun with the Gold Rush. And please make sure to subscribe and share. Have a nice night.